Hello everyone and welcome back. All right, so today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to do an unboxing of the Auto Leveling Annette A8 Do-It-Yourself 3D Printer with um, self-leveling sensor. Uh, if you're like me and you know absolutely nothing about 3D printing uh, and you want to get yourself something affordable, uh, this seems to be the one that's out there. And like I said, I knew nothing about 3D printing, so Harley at West Coast Picks has been just a, a ton of help uh, with me for you know helping me pick out the printer. Um, this is basically the same printer he has, except for this one here has the auto leveling. I really didn't want that, at, you know, after talking to Harley. Um, but I have no patience, and you know I could have got it from Banggood, probably cheaper. If I wanted to wait three weeks uh, or a month to get it, and uh, well, the one that didn't have the auto leveling um, from Amazon, where I got this one, um, was not Prime, and I would have got that after Christmas. Like I said, I'm very impatient, so I ended up choosing this one. And well, this one has the auto leveling sensor, sensor. So maybe um, you know. After I get printing and everything, uh, maybe I could give Harley a little bit of feedback on on how uh, how it works. But um, yeah, and I've been happy with really happy with the three D printing that Harley's been doing. He's been doing some awesome three D printing. You know, he's been making these three D printing trays. He's making the ones with the logos on them, little trays, awesome stuff. Um, and then of course, Foxy's been making some awesome stuff. Some kick holders, um, personalized with your logos, and um, some Euro cylinder holders, and some, um, I don't know, this is pinning tools for the Euro cylinders. So, some really great stuff you could do with these, and um, yeah, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to start making some tools, and you know, some stuff for giveaways, or, or whatever. So, after talking with Harley, um, this is one I chose, and well, Harley's been, like I said, been giving me a lot of help, and I guess I'm, he'll, he'll continue to give me some help um, getting this thing started. And there's a ton of um, upgrades you can make and, and, and get for this thing. Um, I got a few things um, for it, just to get me started. I think this here actually has a, a filament holder, um, but I got another one. This one here is... I think it's a little better than some of the ones I've seen out there that have the threaded rods um, that uh, I guess it causes a little bit of friction on the rolls. So people have been making 3D um, shafts here to go to go with it to make it a little smoother. This one here seems like it's already pretty much set. We'll see how that works. Um, it's got a little rubber feet if you want to just place it down or you could take those off, hang it on the wall or whatever. But, you know, there's upgrades you can... Uh, 3D print for this, hanging off the top of the printer, all kinds of cool stuff you can do with it. Um, got a couple, I got some more stuff coming in today, actually. Um, the spatula is actually for peeling it off of the, the printing plate. And I got some, you know, cheap tools here for changing the nozzle. A few extra nozzles. Um, I think these are from 0.2 to 0.8. So I got a few extra nozzles. And of course, a couple of rolls of filament. I got a blue. And a red. I like those colors. So the red, of course, one of my favorite colors, and that's a really cool blue. But um, yeah. So today we're gonna check out, see what's in this box. Hopefully nothing is broken. Like I said, it is a do-it-yourself. So this is fairly heavy, and there is a lot of parts in there, guys. So let's get this thing open. I think I'm gonna open it from the bottom too, and then I could just maybe slide it out. Um, Three different levels in here of parts, and it takes uh, I don't know six to eight hours to put this together. Um, I'm going to take my time. I am moving the lab right after the first year, so I have a lot more room to play with. And um, yeah, I'm probably not even going to get this going until after well after the holidays, but I might have it together before then. But we'll see. does have um, some filament. So this is a little bit different than the ones I've seen online. Um, but we don't need that. Put that in the box. And oh, let me see. Let me try to slide it. Let me move some of this stuff. And slide this over. Let 
And we'll go with the top level first. Alright, well, I guess you do get a pretty much a whole roll of filament. This is white, which is cool. We don't have white, so we're gonna get a roll of filament already. Really cool. Um, this here is the whole frame and everything is in acrylic. Here's some um, some of the parts, it's got this paper tape on there. Um, I end up peeling that off and the acrylic's underneath. <laughs> it's going to be jobbing itself. Uh, probably going to take a good hour just peeling off that tape. Some more parts in here. I think that lots of parts. Um, these are probably some of the bearings. For the shafts and stuff on the rods. Okay, we have a power cord. This one's in US. And it does have a ground on it, which is which is sweet. So alright. Um we have an aluminum plate here that your heating plate goes on. That's made out of aluminum too. This is going to be your print surface. And um, well tomorrow I have um I have a glass coming for that. I probably could have got that too from the dollar store, but if I wanted to cut the glass or anything, I don't know. I've never cut glass before, so I ordered I ordered one specifically for this one. Okay, we got some cheap tools here. To, I guess to put this together. Probably has all the tools you need, but I don't think we'll be really using those. Um, so we got some cheap tools. We got some cable here. Um, I guess that goes to the motherboard. Um, some more cables here. And some more cables here. So, we got some, we got, and they're all marked. Um, I'll be watching some videos and stuff on it, and I believe this has, um, uh, I believe it's going to come, um, with a micro SD, um, that has all the instructions and some other software I think on there. Stuff like that. But, uh, let's see if we can get this back in there. Alright, that's what was in this level. I don't want to snap that off or nothing. A little connector there, so be careful. Be careful with that. Put that back in there. Alright, so that's level one. Here, I'll actually put this aside. And we'll go with level two. Looks like we got lots more parts here, guys. All right, so we got some of the framing here. All in acrylic. It's pretty thick, too. But, like I said, it's going to take a while to get um, all this brown paper stuff out of here. So, yeah, we got some frames. Oh. Uh, I believe this might be actually... I'm not sure if that's part of the frame or maybe... Um, a filament holder to put together. No, not sure. Might be part of the frame, actually. Not sure if it actually comes with a filament holder or not. But, we got some more frame parts here. Just going to get that back in here quickly. Head, a um, little fan, a little blower here, uh, and a big, huge bag of nuts and bolts and screws and springs and washers and a whole, whole mess of mess of screws here. Um, cable for your computer. Hook it up to your computer. Here is the SD um, card. I believe there's instructions and stuff on how to put this together in there and stuff. Okay, here's some of the belt that um, moves your printer head sideways and it moves your um, your printer surface. Got some of that. 
So we got the lots of parts in there, lots of screws. Um, let's see what we got in here. I think that's the motherboard there. Okay, this here is the display for um, the printer. I don't even think I'll take it out of the box. That's just the display. Here is the motherboard. I want to see something on this though. I wonder if this is the newer version. Yeah, I believe this is the newer one, actually. I'll have to check that. I believe that's a newer, the newer motherboard. This would be really cool. This. So that is the second layer, guys. Like I said, we are going to have some fun putting this thing together. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> this one, this is the heavy, heavy part of this because we got the power source. Uh, okay, this is a little blower fan. And this here is actually the little blower that goes on this fan. Uh, Anyways, it's going to go on, I believe, this fan. I believe it's this one. And it aims onto your um, nozzle and it keeps it cool and everything. But everybody is 3D printing new ones. Kind of like round ones. Keeps it really nice and cool. That would be probably one of the first things I replace. Um, these are some of the parts that um, move the print head. Uh, or the, yeah, the print head and the rods and stuff like that. Some threaded rods and down in here, as you can see, a ton more acrylic framing. Uh, here we have, this here is for um, kind of like a wire wrap. If you get all your wiring, you want to, everything as neat as possible so you're not pulling no stress and um, yeah. I've seen people um, use different different stuff. I'm gonna probably start with this, but that might be one of the upgrades I do in the future. Here are the motors. There's two that are like this. You need to move the print hand so I can get them out there and they're tight. Yeah, see if I can get them out. Um, maybe I can do it with this Allen screw. Or this Allen. I don't want to break anything. These are in there tight. If I could just get one off for you guys, I'd be happy. There it is. Got two of this type, and then there's two other ones this type here. So we have the motors. Oh, that, what do we got here? Okay, here is the, the print head, the little nozzle, and it um, looks like it's pretty much together a lot. I was going to have to put some of this together. Um, this is all loose and everything, so there's still um, some work to be done in there. And Last but not least, this is the power supply. I want to check this because I don't hear any screws. I've been watching a lot of these where some of the screws right here in the front. This pops up. Some of these screws were missing and they were floating around in there. People were shaking them up and I've actually seen two videos where two of the screws were out and in there. But these all seem to be in there nicely. Pretty awesome. Um, seen different upgrades with these. People put fans on them, keep them cooler. And there's a lot of stuff that I need to learn. And um, well, I'll be uh, doing a lot of upgrades. And hopefully a lot of uh, printing after that. But yeah. All right. That's um, that's about it, guys. That is going to be my new printer. Um, I said, we're making some awesome stuff for, you know, giveaways and just some cool stuff, um, possibly to help my wife out with her bead making and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, she, um, 
she's got some stuff that she wants me to do too, so that's um, basically <laughs> one of my Christmas presents, guys. She gave me a decent budget, and um, well, I used every penny of it, but yeah. Alright guys, well, if you, uh, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If you guys have any questions or comments, you can comment below. And uh, yeah, everyone, please be safe and stay legal. Thanks, guys. Bye.